What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about something that requires skill. Blonde mowing. So luckily the brand Skill is bringing their skill to help you mow the lawn. Wow. Now I was trying to come up with some kind of cool little thing. That is good though. That is good. That is good. I like it. I you guys, like it. what do we know about Skill? Been around for a long, long time. <clears throat> Used to be owned by Bosch. Um, basically we're known for homeowner stuff, right? Bought by a company called Shervon, who what does Shervon own? They own Ego, they own, I mean, they, they make Flex. Just Flex. They own a lot of high-end stuff. And they make tools for other companies, like uh, big companies you've heard of too. So they're not, they're not new to this industry Right, at all. they're an OEM manufacturer. They actually made the Bosch Glide Saw. Yeah, they helped with it, yeah. Yeah, something like that, but still, whatever they know engineering right so they bought the skill brand and say what are we going to do with it you know well let's build on that brand and just build something a little better than what it was right instead of just bottom of the line homeowner let's go to mid-tier to upper homeowner and let's knock their socks off with what with batteries power with uh you know ergonomics with just quality of the design right and that's what ego is known for and i feel like they're taking a lot of it put in here battery technology we had a chance firsthand to see how they do the batteries how they power them and Keep everything else like that which is it's huge you think okay there's one battery over here another battery what's the difference if they're both 56 volt both 40 volts whatever but honestly there's a huge difference in the way that they make them and the way Ego makes them, as with the skill, is they're actually, they've got basically a liquid cooling type of technology on them to keep the batteries cool because heat kills batteries, it kills the battery cells, it's, you know, you don't have the longevity of it. So they found, they basically, the way they do it, it costs a little bit more for their technology and they don't skimp out, but it's worth it to the consumer. Right, now granted, I don't know if this has the exact same technology as the Ego with the uh, I believe morphing, that it, I can't say it's exactly the same, but they do have kind of the same aspect or the same type of technology. Right, to us, honestly, you guys, and yes, uh, Ego does advertise with this, so does Skill. Uh, to, but this is honest God's opinion right here, you guys. They are, to me, are the top battery manufacturers on the market. 100% they are. They yeah. just yeah. make the best batteries, you know. Yeah. Um, we've had batteries for six years that have never had a problem, you know. We still have um, the first generation of batteries. I mean, we had like, I don't know what lawnmower number it was, but we had like one of the first lawnmowers out there with the batteries and all that, and we still are using those batteries today. Yeah, I mean, obviously they don't have the oomph that they had when they were brand new. I mean, they have the same power, but longevity's gone down a few minutes, you know, on the blower, I noticed. Oh, it has? Yeah, but it's a 2.5 blower. It's the first generation one I ever had. The thing's been sitting outside. The thing, I mean, literally, it's about six years old, that battery. So the battery, that's what we like about the battery technology. It's very cool not to try to do a pun but it's just it's it's pretty neat how they do it right phase change technology i'm not sure they actually have that in here but on the egos it's all you know different areas of the battery none of them are surrounded by another battery which what kills batteries heat so they've designed all that now with this lawnmower design you guys it looks something from like out of the future but what i've been finding out is it's just very simple very rugged right Starting here with the uh, handle. I mean, it's definitely a one-handed handle. So there's a nice. spring in there, and it's just got these positive detent stops, which you know I like. You know, there was a lawnmower. I can't remember what it was. Toro, I think. Toro had all four corners. All four corners. Is, yeah. Oh my gosh, I hated that. This is just simple. You lift up, it takes one battery. You put it on. You close it. You know, you're gonna get roughly. Do you know the runtime on it? Well. I we were trying to decide that, but guys, it's hard to really say. Really, this is gonna be for a quarter of an acre because it depends what type of grass you're cutting, how tall the grass is cutting. This is self-propelled, it's 20 inch self-propelled. Are you going up hills, are you going down hills, are you just on flat surfaces, what are you doing? You know what I mean? So it's hard to really say. I mean, I can say dry grass is gonna be a longer run time than wet grass is gonna be. So there's so many variables. You could safely get a tennis court size done and quarter probably- Quarter acre, you can do yeah, a quarter acre easily. Solidly, and that's solidly. Now you might get three quarters of an acre. It just depends on your land, depends on whatever. But the great thing is, is this battery power. You're gonna have other skill battery equipment that you can just slide that battery into, right? Mm -hmm. Handle system, very stout all together. I like Show that. Show it pulls down, because that's what I like. So when you store this, it's very easy to, can I get the top ones first? Are you sure? Well, I can't, okay. I'm gonna get them second, but. I mean, obviously you're not at this angle when you do this, but. But this makes storage <laughs> for, if you have winners, you can store it up, put, 
put it up even in between on your weekly mows. You can actually store it up underneath the bench. You have to sit flat like this. So it does have a bag or it does have if you want to mulch. The so plug. that's good. The plug. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a rugged little unit by skill. One thing that you guys, I noticed about skill. And again, like I said, yes, you can call us, you know, anything you want right we do do advertisements with this company um but i was pleasantly surprised with that um the head trimmer. trimmer yes oh my yep. god dude yep. i was taking out so i'm ripping out these trees i was cutting these bushes i'm like you know what i gotta rip them out anyways and i did an instagram and everybody was like just rip them out 80 percent said rip them out I'm, like, right, I'm ripping them out so i'm like you know what? let's test out this hedger dude i was chopping tree with this hedger mm -hmm. like literally dude i started going i'm like man that's smooth getting lower and lower and lower and i mean thick branches i'm gonna show i'm gonna overlay a or b-roll picture right now and you know what i like about it the weight it's not heavy right yes that honestly is probably the best head trim i've ever used in my life it's and i don't say that often because i was a big dewalt fan for a while but that's probably the best you know handheld right there's a, a longer extended ones that i like better from other brands but uh for a handheld dude that thing is i mean i was surprised but then again was i surprised because it's from the makers of ego power beyond belief right um yeah so then to set it up boom in the corner of your garage blade change look easy when you got to sharpen no problem it's just a simple, easy lawnmower that I think is going to give you guys a ton of life, right? A ton of, uh, ton of run time. And you know, the one thing too that's, that I find interesting with this battery one is some of them are plastic decks like ABS and some are metal. And I was always like, oh, I want the metal, I want the metal. But I had the Eagle, the, again, the first gen, and that was a plastic deck. I absolutely love it. It doesn't was rust. lighter, it doesn't rust, and I don't have any cracks, and it's... I can't say I'm the most friendly to it, um, you know, because I've got a lot of brick. I got other things. Sometimes I'm just not paying attention. I hit. I have not had a crack or anything like that. But the biggest thing is the rust and the weight. Yeah, you know, you know what, you guys. For anybody in your family, you got to buy them a gift. They need a lawnmower. Definitely look into the skill. Uh, definitely recommend it. The two carry handles, easy to pick up. You know, it's just a good unit. Obviously, it just came out. Um, and like so, Dan was saying, the nice thing about it too is you buy it, you get in this battery platform, you can jump in. They've got a chainsaw. I actually like the chainsaw too. They got the hedger, they got a string that. trimmer, you know? So. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. But I mean, I'm Didn't okay. we do a video on that? The head trimmer? No, the chainsaw. Maybe. Yeah. Well, what's, what's up? What's up, Manny? What do you want? How what you doing? Roman. This is Manny, you guys. Manny, what do you think of this lawnmower? I don't know. I did it. I never tried it. Didn't Manny try it? No. That's like you said, saying me I tried the chainsaw. Oh no, I did try the chainsaw. Yeah. Yeah, that thing was awesome. Yeah, I know. I okay. Know. All right, see you, man. What do you Thanks. need? The water turned on? No. What do you need? What do you want? Just a hug? I need a hug and a kiss. Oh, okay. In a little bit, the video's almost done. Yikes. I better leave. <laughs> you guys. So check it out. Let us know what you guys think. Yes, I totally blanked out on that chainsaw. Yeah. I did. We were cutting stuff back there. Yep. Do I have that? I want that chainsaw. Yeah. You know what? I'm invested into this line. I like it. I think it's good. I'm Peace pretty out, you guys. sure you had the chainsaw at your house. Really? Yes. I might. I got to go see what he's doing. You hear that stuff spraying? Peace. Oh, yeah. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.